conviction politics. Absolutely. Not been, not been much of that lately in the Tory party, has there? Um, depends what you mean by convictions. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, uh, Boris has messed it up big time, hasn't he? He has, and he's always going to, because I always took the view that he would fall because of malfeasance. Not Most prime ministers fail because of policy issues. Failure to carry something through, pursuing something, as Mr Thatcher did with the poll tax, which just was untenable. Mm. Whereas Boris's problem was he has this amazing appeal to a large part yeah, of the population, and still, and still does, does. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time doesn't understand the other people, uh, the middle class, uh, Tory entrepreneur, uh, remaining vote, um, who he lost in droves. And what was significant immediately after he announced his resignation was that the Tories went up in the polls quite mm. markedly, as clearly some of those people came yeah, back. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it, I just think the whole thing's a waste. You know, big majority, they haven't done... I know the pandemic came, they haven't done much with it. But, Robert, what you're best known for isn't being an MP, <laughs> and what you're best known for isn't being a member of the House of Lords. What you're best known for is being a pollster. Now, this is a much maligned industry, and with good reason, many of us think. But you actually, back in 92... Big surprise result for yeah. most, but you identified what became known as the shy Tory, a phenomenon that we saw coming up with the Brexit referendum, Donald Trump yeah. in America. But it's on Brexit that I just have to take my hat off to you. You were out there, loud, clear. You thought Leave was going to win when very, very few in your industry did. How is it you got it right and they got it wrong? I think I've, I've discussed this with journalists over the years. Uh, they were providing me, ironically enough, with much of the information. As well as talking to my friends, I, I'm taking statistical terms, I, I was looking for people who were deviant, i.e. there were certain groups who should be Remainers and certain groups who were, cert who were supposed to be Leavers. And all the deviants were people who should have been Remainers who were telling me they were going to vote Leave, <laughs> i.e. middle-class <laughs> women, bankers, people like that. Mm. And, they, and the, those were groups who were... I find no parallel move in the opposite direction. But journalists would say, we've been to Gloucester, we've been to Nottingham today, we could doing Vox Pops, and we couldn't find a Remainer. <laughs> and yet they weren't hearing that message. Because they didn't want to. Um, possibly. But in part, you expect a certain response. Uh, and you think you discount it. Now, I didn't. I was uh, sadly back at, at home looking at statistics and thinking, this is what I'm hearing from mm. my friends, from conversation. This is what journalists are saying to me in day-by-day -day conversation. And I put it together and said, and yes, you're right, about two and a half weeks out, I said, unless things change dramatically... Yeah, no, good for you. They, 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 ..it would be a leave vote. Good for you. Well, having got so many things right, I have to put the pressure on you as we look ahead, of course. <laughs> Flattery and... will get you <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, nearly half of those who were attracted by the Conservative Party, in some cases for the yep. first time, and I know those voters because yep. they were UKIPers sure. and all the rest of it, nearly half of them at the minute have deserted the Conservative Party. Is it likely they can get those voters back? And, th and in that context, given all your long years, and you've seen Conservative Party ups yep. and downs and, down. and splits and enmities and <laughs> triumphs and failures and all of it. And Liz Truss, you know, she's been in the Cabinet for eight years, but the general public barely knew who she was. Yep. She, she hardly troubled the scorer in cricketing yep. terms with the general public. Yep. What advice would you give her, and is it possible for her to turn this around? It's going to be very difficult indeed for her to turn it around. We've lost two groups. I, one is the, the Leavers who came from South Yorkshire or the mm. or Teesside, and on mm. the other side, the middle classes from Wim Wimbledon and Wandsworth. If there's one piece of advice I would say to Liz Truss, in terms of forming her cabinet, at the moment, all the stories are that she's going to put her mates in every single position. Mm. She's got to start by reuniting the Tory party over there in Westminster. And to do that, you have to appoint a number of Rishi supporters to serious cabinet positions. Because the splits are real. A split is real. Um, you've got to start 
within your own parliamentary party and then work outwards. But if you fail within the parliamentary party, you're going to fail completely.